Well, good morning, everybody. It's Uncle John from Uncle John's Farms here in Center Point, Indiana. And today I'm going to take you along as we do some morning chores. We'll be moving our pastured chickens. Plus, I'll give you insight into the little baby chicks that are in our new egg mobile. So come along and uh, we're going to do some morning chores. There's the star of our show, Dee Dee. What are you doing eating grass? Come here. You want, Dave, you want to say hi to the people on Facebook? Huh? You want to say hi to the YouTube people? All right, here's our mobile egg mobile. Now these little gals will be in here their entire life. And I'm hoping you can see them. They're way back in the back because they don't like people. All right, now it's off to feed the main egg layers. And of course, they always come out to meet me. Now, where we have the pastured chickens, we have to take water to them. So I've got this hose hooked up. It'll go over to the Jeep. And we've got a tank in the Jeep that will get it filled up. And uh, we'll get up there to move the chickens. So we're out here with the pasteurized chicks. Uh, these chicks are in the chicken tractors. They get moved to new grass every day. And of course, while they are going along getting moved, they're also laying down manure for the lawn. And so part of our chores every day is when we just move the tractors, we give them feed and water actually twice a day now because they are getting big. I'm gonna do some footage of you guys getting to see where the chicken tractors have started and where they're gone and a chance for you to see me actually move them. It literally takes me about five, 10 minutes every day to take care of the chickens out here on pasture. All right, so here's where the chicken tractor started, right there. And you can see as we've moved it along, you can actually watch the track of the chicken tractors. And what they're doing is they're leaving their manure behind as we move them and they get moved to fresh grass every day. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to move these. Well first up we got to get their feed and water out of the way so when we move these that we don't have to worry about dragging that. Get out. I usually do both because we'll feed and water them here in a minute. You just pick up the front end and just easily move them forward. That's the first time that's ever happened when actually get out.
they do like their feed. Now it's time to get us some water for them. Our handy dandy tank here in the Jeep works wonders for this. I just wanted to show you where we move the chickens. They're getting a lot of white clover, a lot of grass. Now this supplements what we're feeding them with the ground feed. So you can see they kind of like it. Of course they like their ground feed a lot better than they do the grass, but that's where they're living. There's about 20 birds in each one of these, and of course all these have been sold, and I'm thinking about getting another order about mid-July that uh, we'll be selling in September. But the chickens are raised out here with very little stress. The only stress they have in their life is every morning when we move the tractors forward. And I do it real gentle. There's wheels on the back of the tractor so it makes it easier for both of us. Well there you go. Our morning chores have been done. The chickens have all been moved, fed, and watered. We'll come back through later this afternoon and give more feed and water to them. But we only move them once a day. They get moved to fresh grass and that helps complement their diet. It makes them taste really good. You know, if you'd like more information on how you can do this in your own backyard or any other type of farming you can do in your own backyard, hit me up here on Facebook, YouTube, or you can also email me at john at unclejohnsfarms.com. We are going to be ordering some more chickens for uh, midsummer into the fall. They'll be ready to go in the fall. If you'd like to get in on that, make sure you get a hold of us. Uh, our number is 812-214-1116. You can also find us at unclejohnsfarms.com. And also hit us up on Facebook as we uh, do take uh, messages off of Facebook as well. Don't forget, you folks, on the SNAP benefit cards, we accept SNAP benefits. In fact, we're one of few farms in Indiana where you can actually use the SNAP benefit cards to purchase fresh meat and produce from our farm. Again, I want to thank you for taking time to be a part of my day today, and thank you so very much for being a part of our community. We really do appreciate it.